At the Natural History Museum, we specialize in science. And so, of course, we've got a lot of science tattoos. Okay, Nefty, what kind of tattoo have you got? So this is one of my favorite lizards. This is a, a gliding lizard um, from Southeast Asia. And one of the, my favorite things about this lizard is, is that they evolved these elongated ribs. They're at, actually attached to skin. And uh, when threatened, these ribs extend and they could actually glide from tree to tree. And they could actually glide from a distance of about 30 feet. Wow. Like, yeah, so they're pretty impressive. I've always wanted some reptile on my arm and, and this is one of my favorite lizards for that reason, so. Okay, Allie, so you have an amazing tattoo of a cuttlefish. Tell me how you decided to get that tattoo. I guess when I was looking at colleges, I was interested in marine biology, so. One of the places that I visited was in San Diego, the um, Scripps Institute of Oceanography. Mm -hmm. I had the like lucky chance to go behind the scenes, and they were doing a few like tests and trainings with some new baby cuttlefish. The one like bold one just kind of came up and did like a little like touch. What's the uh, painting like Michelangelo? The Origin of Man. Origin yeah, of Man. Like, it done. felt like that, and I was like. <gasps> Oh, you were you were you were touched by a touched experience. by a cuttlefish. Yeah. yeah. So. Okay, Rick. You got two science tattoos. What are they? Both fish. Both fish. Uh, this is a grunt sculpin, and this is a roughback sculpin. Both, so both sculpins. Both sculpins. What's a sculpin? A sculpin is part of a family of fishes that I've studied since I was in grad school. Why did you decide to get this tattoo? This is a very cute sculpin. It's like a cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got an. Uh, example of this of this sculpin here. Let's have a look and see how the real thing compares to the tattoo. Okay, this is a a grunt sculpin that I actually collected uh -oh. off Vancouver Island. That's gorgeous. And why did you decide to get a tattoo of these? Tell me how it happened. Because I like the illustration. This is from an old illustration of, uh, by Boleyn. And whenever my daughter gets a tattoo, I go. And get a tattoo. So so far, we've done this twice. <laughs> and so that's basically the motivation. That's beautiful. <laughs> so you have this amazing dragonfly tattoo. Is that Thank right? You. Where did where did that come from? How did you get that idea? So I was living in Chicago at the time, and I had a you know sort of an industrial job as a welder, and I was feeling kind of claustrophobic in the city, and really feeling kind of down. And then I had this moment one night where I went out to a parking lot. I discovered there was a dragonfly sitting on top of my car. I reached out my finger to him, and he just stepped right up on it. And we looked at each other, or I looked at him. It was a really powerful moment for me where I, I felt like if a little creature like that can survive in the city, that I could too. It also has meaning to me just as an urban nature story that no matter where you are, you can find nature yeah. somewhere.